Hi everyone and welcome to this webinar. In today's webinar we will demonstrate how to set up a continuous integration for Docker containers using the CodeFresh platform. Before jumping into the demo itself, let's take a look at the flow that we will be setting up. The flow will be, will be triggered by any commit or pull request that one of the developers in the team is making. Then CodeFresh will immediately start building a Docker image for each commit or a pull request. Once the Docker image is built, Kotosh will start running all the automated tests against it. Unit test, integration test, UI testing, and once tests passed, the Docker image will be pushed to the Docker registry and available for user acceptance testing, performance testing, and so on. Once all tests passed, the Docker image will be marked as ready for deployment and can be promoted to production. Before we jumping again to the demo, let's take a look at the steps we will be demoing. We'll start by adding a single service to CodeFresh platform. And once we'll see how it's done, we'll move into adding a composition. A typical application is composed of multiple services and we'll see how it can be done in the CodeFresh platform. Once we set up our application, we'll see how we can start adding tests. We'll start by adding unit tests, then we'll see how we can configure a Docker registry, add integration test, and we'll leave some time for question and answer in the end. Okay, without any further ado, let me move to the Kotrosh platform to see how it's done. You can log into Kotrosh by either using your GitHub credentials or Bitbucket credentials. In our case, let's use our GitHub credentials. Once logged in, let's start by adding a simple Node.js Express service. To do that, let's click on the Add Service button, and then specify the Git repository for our service, and the default branch, which is master, and click on the Next button. Next, we'll specify whether our Git repository already has a Docker file, or whether we want to use Codefresh template Docker file for each technology. In our case, our Git repository has a Docker file, so let's choose that option and click on the Create button. And then click on the Close and Build. And what will happen now is that Codeforge will start building a Docker image for our Git repository. We can track the progress from here. And when the progress completed, we can in fact go to the image view and see the Docker image we have just created. When we click on that Docker image, we can see all the information related to that image, whether it's the source code information, such as the Git repository, the latest commit, whether are the tags of the Docker image, the Docker file that was used to build that Docker image, and all the logs that were collected while building this Docker image. We can also launch a container out of this Docker image, and to do that, let's click on the Launch button. Codefosh will then spin up a container out of this Docker image and will allow us to see how this container looks like by clicking the Open Up button. We can see how this container runs. We can also see all the running containers in the environment view. We can click here, we can click at the Open Up to open it again, or we can copy the link and send and share it with everyone else in the team. So this was an very brief example of how to add a simple single microservice. Now let's take a look at a little bit more complex application, which is a simple microservice application that requires more than one service. To do that, let's go back to the services view and click on the add new service again. In this case, we're going to add our let's chat application, which is composed of both a Git repository and a MongoDB image. So let's start by adding the Git repository. We'll click on the Next button. Our Git repository already has a Docker file, so we'll choose that option and click on the Create button, and then on the Close and Build. In the very same way, Codefosh will now start the build process to build that Docker image. We can monitor the build process from here, or we can go to the Build view and see all the builds that are now taking place. We can go back to the build process view 
by clicking on the builds in the builds view. Once the build process completed, we can go back to the image view and see the new image that we've just created. If we'll try to run a container out of this image by clicking the launch button again, we can in fact see that the process failed. And the reason being is that this container cannot run on its own without the MongoDB image that needs to run alongside with it. So let's see how we can configure Codefresh to spin up composition rather than to spin up a single container. To do that, let's go back to the composition view and click on the add new composition button. Let's give our composition name, a name. Let's call it, let's chat composition. And let's start adding the services. The first service we'll add will be the Git repository service of Codefresh demo demo chat. And we'll click the add button. And the next service will be a Mongo image. We'll do that by simply typing Mongo and click the add button again. Codefresh will then create a Docker Compose file for us that can be used to spin up this composition. We can continue editing the Docker Compose file here by adding an entry for the links to specify how these services are interconnected. And we can also change the ports. And when we're done, we can click on the Save button. Once we save a composition um, and our service is part of a composition, when we will go back to the image view and try running our image again, we will see that Codefosh will actually offer us to either running this image as a standalone container or as a container part of a composition. Let's try running this container as part of the composition we've just created. As we can tell, Codefresh is now trying to run a composition in which we have our service as well as a Mongo image. When the process is completed, we can click on the Open Up button and see our application running. We can also go back to the environment view and we can see the standalone container that we tried to run, which didn't work well. And we can also see the composition that we have just spin up that has both the Git repository image, the demo chat image, as well as the Mongo image. We can give our environment a name. And we can send the link to this application to everyone else in the team who can review our application. So this was a very brief overview of how we can add a single service and how we can add a composition. Let's take a look about how we can configure our pipeline, how we can configure the continuous integration to run test and push to Docker registry whenever a commit is made to our Git repository. To do that, let's go back to the services view and click on the setting button for our service. Clicking on the setting buttons will bring us to the pipeline configuration page. Here we can set what will be the name of the image that we create whether this image will be built based on the Docker file that is stored in our Git repository, or whether it will be built by Codefresh template Docker file for the different technologies. We can also set the automated build webhook so it will monitor our Git repository and will start the process whenever a commit or a pull request is created. Next, we can configure Codefresh to run unit test each time a commit or a pull request is made. Let's do that by simply adding here gulp test. Let's save it and let's run the build again. As we can see now, immediately after Codefresh is building the Docker image, it will also run the unit test against it and we can monitor the results of the unit test from within Codefresh. So we've seen how we can add a unit test Let's take the next step of how we can push this Docker image to a Docker registry whenever um, the test passed. To do that, let's first configure our Docker registry credentials in the account management view. To do that, let's click on the 
upper right menu and on the account management link then we'll go to the integration tab and under the docker hub uh, credentials and settings we can put our credentials here and click on the save button now let's go back to the pipeline configuration for our service And after the unit test, we can configure Codefresh to push our Docker image to a Docker Hub registry. So let's do that and let's click on the Save button again. And let's click on the Build button and see how Codefresh is now adding another step after running the unit test. So run the unit test and now Codefresh will start pushing this Docker image to a Docker registry. Again, we can also monitor this progress from our build view. So we can see that there is a uh, build in progress now and we can see in which state this build is at the moment. As the build progress completed, um, let's take a look at how we can actually also add integration tests. To do that, let's go back to the services and to the pipeline configuration. And then let's go to the integration test scripts section. Here, we can tell Codefresh each time it gets to the integration test step to first run the composition. So we can run the integration test against the full composition. So we can checkbox the run test with composition. And then we can select the composition we want to be spin up as part of the integration test phase. Then let's add the command for running our integration test. And let's click on the save button again. There are additional settings that we can set up as part of the pipeline, such as the environment variables, port, and so on. Let's click on the build, and now we'll see that Codeflush will add a step after pushing to the Docker registry, which is running the integration test as part of the composition. So this was a very quick overview of how we can add service, how we can add a microservices application, how we can add unit tests, push into Docker registry and running integration tests. So this was a very simple type of application. I will spend one more minute to show you how it's done in a more realistic application. And to do that, I'll switch to our own account in Codefresh when we're running Codefresh on top of Codefresh. So as you can tell here, if I go to the services view, you can in fact see all the services that Codefresh is composed of, whether it's Codefresh API, Codefresh Router, Codefresh Runtime. We can also see that we have defined here the composition to run a full Codefresh system. So if I go into Codefresh full, this is um, a complete, uh, complete definition of Codefresh composition. We can also monitor all the builds that the team are doing. We can see all the images that we're using and that we're promoting to production to run Codefresh. And in the very same way, I can point any Docker image here and run it as part of Codefresh full and spin up a whole instance of Codefresh. And that took us only four seconds. You can click on the open up here and we can have a whole new instance of Codewash in five seconds. This helps us really in reviewing features, in testing our applications, even before we deploying it into staging or production. So thank you so much for joining this uh, very short webinar. We encourage you to sign up at codefresh.io to get your own account and try it out. You can also join our meetup at meetup.com slash container one on one online meetup. In this meetup, we talk about the latest Docker technologies and best practices of using Docker. You can also follow our blog in blog.codefresh.io or follow our Twitter at, at Codefresh. Thank you very much.